Uh, the team did a good job handling adversity. Um, you know, travel wasn't, you know, perfect. Uh, recovery time wasn't perfect, but uh, I think they stepped up to the challenge and they, they competed. You know, and that was all I was looking for this weekend was for them to compete well, you know, and just go after it. Not so much looking for performances. Yeah, we, we got some decent performances out. Um, but the great thing is even the performances that were good weren't even close to where they're going to be by the end of the year and, and what they're, they're really capable of. Um, for a lot of them, you know, was able to knock off the rust for a lot of the veterans. And uh, for, the, for the younger athletes, it was, it was good to kind of get those first meet jitters out and actually see that, you know, the sport doesn't change. It's still track and field. It's the same track and field that you've been running since you were six years old. It's the same track and field that you ran last year in high school as a 17-year-old, you know, senior. So um, that was good for them to see. Craig did a, a great job this all season and you know I challenged them both on the track and off the track you know and the classroom and both on the on, you know in, in in perfecting his craft and he actually trained in in the, in the summer came in in great shape um, in the fall it's probably the hardest I've ever seen him work you know and he's it's gotten a lot stronger a lot faster um, you know so for him to come out and, and perform the way he did off of Tough travel weekend and, and, you know, three meets in two days and for him to go out and say, hey, coach, I'm going to win all three meets in the, in the long jump and go out and actually do it and with jumping better than he did last year, first meet in all three meets, you know, was, was pretty impressive and it's a testament to, you know, the, the condition that he's in and how strong he is this year and how much faster he is this year and, and just more explosive and, you know, he's a more well-rounded athlete both on and off the track. Um, which I think helped keep, you know, help Machine keep his composure. It was it was a lot mentally. You have to like you know prepare yourself for, um, but just like going in, you have to tell yourself it's one meet at a time. So I mean, going out the first meet on Friday, um, jump tired, you know. So got done early, got to get uh, back to the hotel, get some sleep, and uh, on Saturday um, is when I hit my provisional mark. Uh, I was well rested, got, you know, got to stretch and. We kind of used Friday as our, our pre-meet because um, we didn't really get to do that like we normally do. So uh, going in Saturday, I hit that provisional early Saturday morning and then uh, had to prep myself for Saturday night, you know. So it was, it was just a long, it was a long weekend overall. So yeah, just moving forward from this past weekend, um, like I said, everyone uh, competed well. So it's more so now. Um, just tweaking out little things, whether if it's, you know, runway approaches or takeoff, you know, mentally preparing yourself. Because like I said, like this weekend, it was, it was grueling for a lot of us. So even to go out and do what we did was incredible and shows that we have so much room for, you know, better marks and times.